हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल मैथमेटिक्स जेई दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन दैट इज डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम अ जेई मेन 2022 पीवाईक्यू ऑफ सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज व्हिच आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो आई विल लिंक दैट वीडियो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन चेक आउट दैट क्वेश्चन बिफोर solving this derived version of that question so let us start this question says let an from n equal to 0 to infinity be a sequence such that a not equal to 0 and a1 equal to 0 and this recurrence relation holds let sn denote the sum of first n plus 1 terms of this sequence okay then we are asked to find how many statements among the following are correct okay so there are all together four statements we have to check each and every statement whether they are true or false let us check them one by one so if we look at the first statement it says the sixth term of this sequence is 57 so if we try to decode this sequence first so this sequence is a not then a1 then a2 then a3 and so on up to infinite terms but we are asked to find the sixth term now be careful here that the sixth term of this sequence will be nothing but a5 some of us by mistake can consider a6 as the sixth term of this sequence which is not the correct term so sixth term will be a5 so we have to calculate a5 first how do we calculate a5 so a5 we calculate by simply using this recurrence relation so from here if we put n equal to 0 first we get a2 equal to 3 a1 minus 2 a0 plus 1 as a0 and a1 are both zero so we get a1 equal to 1 now then again if we try to put n equal to 1 in this relation we get a3 equal to 3a2 minus 2a1 plus 1 now this term is simply 3 and this term is zero so 3 plus 1 4 a3 equal to 4 then a5 equal to Uh, no then we have to calculate a4 first so a4 will be 3a3 minus 2a2 plus 1 that means a4 will be 3 times 4 that is 12 minus 2 times 1 so 2 plus 1 so 13 minus 2 that is 11 so a4 is 11 now a5 will be what it will be 3a4 minus 2 times a3 plus 1 which means a5 is equal to 3 times 11 that is 33 minus 2 times 4 that is 8 so 25 and then plus 1 so a5 is nothing but 26 so the sixth term of this sequence comes out to be 26 so statement 1 is wrong now we have to check the remaining three statements this is the first statement by the way so let us check the second statement now in this statement we are asked to find the value of this continuum product so a k minus 2 a k minus 1 this we have to continuously product up to seven terms now we had already calculated in the original question that a n minus 2 times a n minus 1 equal to n minus 1 so from here we can directly tell that this continuous product for a k minus 2 a k minus 1 this product from k equal to 2 to 8 will be nothing but product of k minus 1 from k equal to 2 to k equal to 8 so this will be 8 minus 1 so 7 then 6 then 5 then so on up to 
2 minus 1, so 1. This will be equal to 7 factorial. And if we calculate the value of 7 factorial, 7 factorial is 7 times 6 factorial. And 6 factorial is 720. So it comes out to be 5040. That means this statement 2 is correct. Now this remaining statements we have to check. Let us check them on the next page. So now we check statement 3. It says for n greater than or equal to 4, n belongs to natural number Sn is less than or equal to 4 times a n minus 1. Now what is Sn? Sn denotes the sum of first n plus 1 terms of this sequence. Okay. So as we discussed, first n plus 1 terms will be up to a n only. So the first n plus 1 terms of this sequence will be a0, then a1, then a2, then a3 and so on up to a n. So s n is nothing but a0 plus a1 plus a2 plus so on up to a n which we can write in the compact form like this summation r equal to 0 to n a r. This is Sn. Now, for n greater than or equal to 4, n belongs to capital N. Sn less than or equal to this. So, first we try to find a general relation between Sn and a n minus 1. So, we got this relation from the original question that a n minus 2 a n minus 1 equal to n minus 1. Now, if we take both sides summation starting from n equal to 1 to n equal to n then what will happen this will become summation a n from n equal to 1 to n equal to n minus 2 times summation n equal to 1 to n equal to n a n minus 1 equal to summation n minus 1 from n equal to 1 to n equal to n now we can simply see that this term is nothing but Sn minus the term A0. So this is equal to this and this is equal to if we expand the sigma it will become A0 plus A1 plus A2 so on up to An minus 1. So Sn minus An multiplied by a 2 is equal to this if we calculate so this will be 0 plus 1 plus so on up to n minus 1 so summation of first n minus 1 natural numbers which is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 now this left hand side we can calculate as minus a sin now a naught is 0 as stated in the question so then plus 2 a n is equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2. So now we got a relation between Sn and An. But we are required to find a relation between Sn and An minus 1. So let's say this relation as 2. And remember that we have also a relation named relation 1. Now from this 2 we can eliminate the An. So from here if we consider these two equations, we can say that if I substitute the value of a n from here to here, this will become a s n plus a n into n minus 1 divided by 2 will be 2 times a n. So 2 times n minus 1 plus this will be 2 times 2 a n minus 1. So 4 a n minus 1. So this will be if we take this term in the left hand side, s n minus 4 a n minus 1 will be equal to this will become n minus 1 common and then 2 minus n divided by 2. So n minus 1 into 4 minus n divided by 2. Now in the question, we are asked to verify whether this relation holds true or not. Now, n greater than or equal to 4 is our domain of interest. So, let's analyze this. So, we can say 
that Asn is less than equal to 4 An minus 1. We have to verify this case. That means Asn minus 4 An minus 1 should be less than equal to 0. That means this term here in the right hand side should be less than equal to 0. So n minus 1 then n minus 4 by 2 should be greater than equal to 0 because I multiplied both sides with a negative 1. So this will become if we simplify this inequality it means n should be less than equal to 1 or n should be greater than equal to 4. Now as the statement says that for n greater than equal to 4 n belongs to natural number Sn less than equal to 4 An minus 1. So it is talking about a particular case when n greater than equal to 4. So we can say that this statement is also true. Now we have to check the fourth statement. It says that this terms times this continuous product is equal to 25. We have to verify whether this is correct or not. Now what is this? This is simply the binomial coefficient in CR. So we verify this on the next page. Let us verify the fourth statement. Now let us evaluate this part first. What is this? So we have to evaluate r equal to 2, 200, then 2 a a r minus s r. Now, can we find a general expression for this? Yeah, we already found it. This equation number 2 will give us that relation. So here we can easily say that 2 a n minus s n will be equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2. So we can substitute this as r into r minus 1 divided by 2. So this will become simply product of r into r minus 1 divided by 2 from r equal to 2 to 100. This if we expand will become this 2 when multiplied with itself 99 times will give 1 over 2 to the power 99. Then inside this product if we expand this product it will become 2 into 1. So 2 into 1 into then 3 into 2 then 4 into 3 then 5 into 4 then so on up to it will be 100 into 99. So it will be equal to 1 over 2 to the power 99. Now notice a pattern that this 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on up to 99 gets repeated exactly 2 times. So we will get 99 into 98 into 97 into so on up to 2. This whole square times this will be multiplied only a single time. So this will be multiplied here. This term will not be squared. Now what is this inside this bracket? This is nothing but 99 factorial then whole square into 100. Now we are asked to find the value of 2 to the power 97 times 198 C99 times this product. So if we calculate 198 C99 times 2 to the power 97 times this product is 1 over 2 to the power 99 times 99 factorial square into 100. Now this will get cancelled by a factor of 2 square and then if we expand this binomial coefficient it will become 198 factorial divided by 99 factorial 99 factorial. So this will get cancelled. Now we are left with simply 25 times 198 factorial. So in the statement 
it says that this value in the left hand side is equal to 25. So this statement is also not correct. So 2 and 3 are the correct statements. So how many statements are correct? Only two statements are correct in this question. So the answer of this question is 2. I hope you understood this question. Thank you.